Hi guys, Mickey Tech here, and today I've got a nice unboxing for you. This is the Sony Xperia T. I want to thank Vodafone for sending this out for me for review. I really appreciate it. Uh, so most of you guys that might recognise this phone, some of you might not. This is in, I believe this is in the new James Bond film, Skyfall. So I'm so glad to get my hands on this phone. Um, big, yeah, again, big thank you to Vodafone for sending this out. So let's unbox this Xperia T. I'll tell you a few things about it. So, I'll do a full review, obviously, about this. There's the phone. Really nice phone, obviously. This is a review unit, guys, so it will have a few fingerprints over it. But really, really nice phone. I'll just turn that on, put that to one side. So just power it up. Make sure it's got some juice in it. There we go, just put that to one side. See what else we get in the box. So what else we get in the box? You have some 40% discount off smart wireless headset, which is pretty cool. Screen Shield. Now, this is something I think every company should put in their product, is a Screen Shield. I think it's ideal to have one of those in every phone or product you get. Uh, we have the earbuds. They look quite nice. They look alright. We'll crack into them at a later date. And obviously you get your usual, you've got your setup guide, important information, warranty and things like that. And your micro USB charger. So plug that into your brick. Obviously I'm in the UK, so I have UK specific brick for this charging brick. Nice Sony logo on the bottom. So a few things about the phone. I'll just show you the back of the box. So you guys can have a little look. So you've got the mobile Bravia engine, which is phenomenal if you've seen the Bravia TVs and things like that that uh, Sony do. PlayStation certified, full HD 1080p, and it has, which I'm really impressed with, 13 megapixel camera. Uh, it's dual core, 1.5 gigahertz dual core, 1080p recording, which I just told you. It's a 4.5. 6 inch screen, so we are talking real nice phone here guys, it really feels really nice in the hand. And obviously a front facing camera which I believe is 1.5 megapixels. So I'll just have a little look around the phone. Um, I haven't set anything up just yet, but just to show you, I know that quite a lot of people said about the viewing angles. Um, to be honest, I'm not really going to look at my phone like that that much, so the viewing angles don't bother me too much with that. So what I'll do, I'll just finish setting up the phone and I'll come back and show you the home screen. So there we go guys, uh, I've just finished putting in my passwords and everything. So let's have a little look around the phone. On this side here, at the bottom of the phone, which I'm not a fan of, uh, but that's my own personal preference, is the power button, the volume rocker, and a dedicated camera button, which is a nice feature. Uh, if we just hold the dedicated camera button down, there we go, pretty quick into the camera. Uh, like I said before, it's a 13 megapixel camera here on the back with LED flash. You have the Xperia logo and everything at the bottom here and the speaker grill also. Um, and on this side you just have your micro charging port. So you're probably wondering where does the SD card and SIM card go? Well let me show you. It is in this little flap on the side. You've got your SD card and your SIM card that go in there. Now it has a internal storage of 16 gigabytes, but that is expandable with the 32 up to 32 gigabytes with an SD card. So you can get some really good SD cards pretty cheap from certain sites and places like that, which I'm sure you guys will be able to find. But that is nice that you have that expandable storage. Uh, let me just get the, um, you can get this for free on contract from Vodafone on the red price plan uh, from £37 a month. That includes unlimited minutes, unlimited texts, one gig of mobile data and two gigabyte of BT Open Zone. So really nice offer from Vodafone. I will leave all the links in the description below to Vodafone. So what we'll do, uh, this is running Ice Cream Sandwich, I'll just show you guys that. Hopefully there is rumours that the update um, 
to Jelly Bean is around the corner. I hope it is anyway. Uh, like I said in the uh, beginning of the video, this phone I believe is in Skyfall, James Bond. That is one why I wanted this phone so bad. I'm a massive Bond fan um, and it's just nice to have a phone like this. Obviously I've got it for a couple of weeks on loan from Vodafone. I will put it through its paces. I will be videos on the front facing camera, on the rear facing camera and also probably some pictures also as well as video footage. So if you want to see more of those videos guys, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see more on the Xperia T. And also if you could be extra cool, please thumbs up the video and share the video on social networks. That would be fantastic. So before we finish, I'll just go through a couple of things about the phone. Um, as you can see, it, it doesn't run too bad. It runs quite smooth. A jelly bean obviously would be a lot smoother. Um, if we go by the weight, it's 139 grams. Um, the touch is touchscreen TFT, 16 million colours. That's 1280 by 720 pixels. It's a 4.6 inch screen. 30 megapixel camera, I said on the back. 1.3 on the front, which is not too bad at all. Um, and it also has a 1750. 1750 milliamp hour battery sorry guys a bit of a tongue tied so highly recommend on first impressions this phone but the real test will be in the review in a week or so so i'm going to use this as my daily driver now see how i get on with it and i will let you guys know in the full review what i think of the xperia t so thank you very much for watching and don't forget hit the subscribe button catch you in the next one bye for now